Welcome, everyone, to a PlayStation game. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? But what is the game, even though the title is already on the video? <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. Eidos, or Eidos. Interactive. Presence? Oh, goody! Kronos? Digital Entertainment Incorporated? Oh, that's cute, it's got the Zeus thing, because Kronos is his dad. Death. The thing we fear most, but my only fear was what would happen if I remained alive. So I ran. I knew my father would try to stop me, and I knew others would come for me. Others whose only desire was money. But my longing was stronger. I wanted salvation. Of all the sensations, pain is the purest, without ambiguity. You feel it, or you don't. I had never experienced pain. But now I knew that I could visit it on others. A pain so strong, so intense, that it would purify the world. I had learned the truth, so I ran. The noise of the funeral didn't mask my assassin's approach. I hoped for a quick death, hoped it would be possible. So I stopped running. I had never experienced pain, and I so wanted to feel it now. I wasn't disappointed. Damn, edgy for a PS1 game. And look at that gorgeous cell shaded look. It's like Killer7 except on our previous gen. This game looks gorgeous. This must be why it's four discs long. Because yes, it is four discs long. I'm assuming because this game looks freaking excellent. So they had to pack in some, some sweet graphics. That's what the technical term is for the people in the industry. Pack in some sweet graphics. And there you go. Fear. Effect. I hope there's an option to turn on subs, because I got what she was saying, but I had to strain a bit for it, because my volume on the TV is a little bit low, so it doesn't drown out, like, or clash with my voice on the mic. Fear effect. And look at that logo. It looks like a crosshair, but it's also an F and an E. That's, that's clever. This music's freaking great. I know next to nothing about this game, so I'm excited. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know the music or anything. You got my attention, Fear Effect. <laughs> but damn, just cutting someone's throat, like, and you see it. Yakuza games don't do that today. Uh, oh, subtitles so on. Damn, alright. Oh. Okay, this is, this is honestly a tough one. The game has multiple endings, right? I think there's two endings you can get on normal, but the good ending is on hard. So, this might be a very, very stupid decision for a first time playthrough, especially because I hear this game is actually hard. But I'm gonna try it on hard? Uh, sound. This music's freaking great. This game's $19.99, by the way. Just master volume, well. Triangle is back. It's later PS1 and you're still doing triangle for back. Controls. Uh, okay, R1 is run. I'll have to get used to that. There are alternate controls, but this is mostly good enough. Does somebody want to explain to me the riddle, by the way? The incredible riddle of why the hell... The top picture has the PS controller, like, weirdly upside down, so the L buttons are on the right side. Like, so the sticks are up. That's, that's very bizarre. That's not how you hold a controller. But anyway, evade would be L2. I'll probably be making liberal use of that. Quick turn is L1. That's great. That's, that's genuinely great. I love a quick turn, especially in a game like this with tank controls. R1 is run, though. I'll have to get used to that. And R2 is crouch. I'll be liberal with that. Uh, action is triangle and not X. Circle is back, though, and X is fire. Normally, I want X to be action, but X being fire is pretty nice. Um, and then the D-pad is obvious. It's tank controls. So, all right. I'll just, I'll, I'll take it. Hello there, Enthesius. Welcome to the stream. 
Now, I don't know how much lore I'm going to get in this. So, I don't know. The best I can do is that a guide is telling me the basic storyline. When the daughter of a powerful Chinese businessman disappears into the hedonistic and dangerous Shanxi, I hope I'm saying that right, protectorate under mysterious circumstances, our team of specialists infiltrate the city and attempts to reach her first, hoping to leverage her safety for a sizable pile of cash. We will have to search, destroy, and firefight our way through the archaic chaos of an alternate reality China and its inhabitants. Along the way, we will be constantly challenged by the henchmen of the girl's father, who have no intention of letting us get to her first. But, what begins as a mercenary snatch and grab to retrieve a young runaway instead becomes a mission more perilous and important than any other that we could have imagined. Uh, and I'm not going to read the next part because that sounds freaking nuts. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that because you don't expect this when you go into a game like this. That sounds freaking crazy. So I am going to be very carefully following a guide through this one because the way the health works in this game, it's kind of like Clock Tower. It's your fear meter. Except in Clock Tower, it's more like health because... You never actually get physically harmed, but your fear only goes up when you get grabbed. But in this game, your health is your fear. And your fear goes up when you are just aware of enemies. And if you get too bad, then you die. So, I can't heal myself with an herb or a first aid kit. I'm going to have to psych myself up by taking enemies out or avoiding them outright. That's going to be a freaking trip. But... Let, let's go ahead and do a new game, on hard. I, this might genuinely kick my ass. I've never played this, so we'll find out. <laughs> a straight up loading bar. But at least it shows me how far the loading is, because a lot of even newer games just have a symbol that shows loading, and they're like, I don't know, you figure it out. <laughs> it's done when it's done. 24 hours earlier. Mercenaries were coming from the west, told of my disappearance by a man, a betrayer who worked for my father. I had become a commodity that would be redeemed for cash. So, you trust him? Jin's are reliable. Yeah? How do you know? He helped me get out the streets years back, before he threw in with a triad. He's always got an angle, but I'd say he's a friend. When you're talking about this kind of money, you can lose friends in a hurry. And once we find the girl, we are talking about this kind of money, right, Hana? Wei Ming Lam is the daughter of the most powerful triad leader in Hong Kong. Don't worry, Glass. If we reach his little runaway first, Lam will pay us handsomely to get her back. Of course, he'll want us dead as well. There, that's it. The Lam building. These graphics are gorgeous for the time. A Dragon Ace, I can rest to get a little bit of fear back. Or calmness back. But I can't just full heal. And I'm playing. It's like freaking Grim Fandango. It's just like, oh, these are the actual game graphics. Awesome. So I gotta get used to the controls. My turning isn't terrible. But there's my quick turn. What if I... Okay, I have to hold R and move to run. I remember in Jade Cocoon, I could press the run button to just immediately go without regard to a direction. Nothing here. Can I go around the other side? Yeah, there it is. But where's the thing? Is it the glowing green that does it? What prompted me to save? That's the thing I want. Oh, right. X is gun, excuse me. Uh, start? Let's quit. This is very embarrassing. Uh. There. Uh. It's not start then? Yeah, I'm not gonna quit. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I could cycle my inventory item. Cellular phone, there it is. -uh. There, that's how I save. I'm using my cellular phone.
that's going to be awkward to do. I have to menu my way through it. Because here's my gun. Cellular phone. Holster. Versus equip. The pistol. Knife. Right? So circle and square cycle through my inventory. I got my gun out, and I don't ready it. Like, it's just ready. When I press X, I think I just fire? <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're good. Use. And now I'm on my own for real. Here's my health fear meter. It's the green. It's very Resident Evil-ish. That's what it is. I'm not making as much noise. You yeah, see? No, I think I'm doing this... There might be another way of doing this. Because there should be a way to sneak. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to immediately load. Because, like... That shouldn't have turned into an outright firefight. Because I don't, I don't want to get my ass kicked, right? Now you might recall that the start button was said to be the skip cutscene button, so we should be good. Let's try this again. All I have to do is press a switch. I've done one thing in the game, but at the same time, the guide recommends save a ton. And I think I'm immediately starting to see why. So let's activate the switch. Skip. Done. And now I stealthily go across this crosswalk so I don't get immediately spotted and destroyed. Or spooked. That's it. Jesus, the health on these guys. How do I reload? And you can see my, my health meter, or my fear, whatever, is a little bit less green, I think but it might recover a bit if I rest. Is reloading a thing? How do I... Is that it? Just press the equip button? Alright. I mean, I'm down some bullets. Is there a way to knock a guy out, though? That's the thing that's bothering me. But pistol ammo. Take... Pistol ammo, take. Alright, now we're talking. Look, it's like an adventure game all of a sudden. Ooh, a lever. Yeah, that was the hint. Boom. That's kind of cool. Okay. Can I just... Yeah, use to go inside. This is this is an adventure game. The game's called Fear Effect, but it doesn't seem quite horror, right? There's the lever. Oh, I'm I'm playing. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. All right. It looks like if I run while trying to prompt, like, a use function, that might actually be bad for me. Like, I can't do it. I have to stop moving. Also, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to go back and save again. Now, it did look like I was able to stealth kill the guard from behind with a single shot, but I still fired it. Oh, yeah, the save point's gone, I suppose. It's, it's definitely a shame that 
Like, if there's a knockout function, I would like to know what it is. Okay, we're back here. This moody-ass music here. So let's, uh... I don't want to use the window. I want to use the ladder. Climb. Okay, so it makes it obvious for me. I press the prompt thing to climb it, and then I have to actually manually move to climb. So now I'm up top. Yeah, this is the tricky thing. I have to, to trick this guy. How am I gonna... Actually, there's one other thing I need to do. I think there's something else in that <laughs> window. Oh, I could even skip the animations of me going in. That's great. But let's look around here. The shelf is more interesting. A fuse. Got it. Now I'm gonna leave. Excuse me. My apologies. Use. I'm out. Climb. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now here's a ladder down, right? But this guy's gonna kick my ass if he finds out. So I'm gonna need to find a way to distract him. So. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking that didn't do it. This guy could very easily kill me. Let's let's try this. He's looking all the wrong ways, dude. I want him to not look in my direction. You see the dilemma here. What if I climb down slowly. I think I'm gonna regret this. Nope. Oh, he just outright kills me. Damn. Wow, this game doesn't mess around. Alright, well, this gets tricky. I know, I'll load my last save. Jesus. Oh yeah, Dragon Ace knife from stealth? Good question. Obviously, you wouldn't hear the gunshot. But I'm a little nervous about what would happen if the guard hears the other guard die. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this again. The good news is, again, this is very brief what I have to do. We are equipped. Now I'm going to try this again. Okay, better. I guess I knocked the first guy. Well, the both guys disappear, so I don't know. Got the pistol ammo. Reloaded the pistol. Pistol ammo. Hello? Do I, I really have to look first? Don't even with this. All right, fine. Pain in the ass. Jesus. All right, let's go in. Grab the fuse. Reload the pistol. This game has a difficult opening. Make no mistake. Climb the ladder. 
But how do I distract that guard for a long time? This game doesn't play around. And what does the valve do? I guess I could take a look. Nuh. -uh. -uh. He's looking right at me. Yeah, like, how do I get him to look the other way? This is a pain in the ass. I like that it just immediately lets me load the last save, though. It's like the hardest puzzle in the game, and I'm three seconds in. I spent more time introing the game than I have actually playing it at this point, I think. Freaking crazy. go. I'm getting quite good at this part. I got tagged. Is this a joke? Thank you. Oh, the person was able to use the valve? Alright, fair enough. I'll give it a shot. Thanks for the heads up. I'll try something. Maybe that's what it takes. But first, I'll still try my standard distraction. And maybe I'll pull the lever just for safety. if that makes any difference. All right, let's try the distraction once. I don't think that did it. <laughs> but I'll try the valve after the fact. Let's just see if this guy's looking. This guy is impossible. All right, valve, I guess. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Wow. This whole time the guide was telling me to distract the guard. I guess I could just kill him. This was a joke and I didn't realize it the whole time. Alright. Embarrassing. Anyway, I got a gate key. And I could reload my gun. Thank you very much for that information. This guide had a whole to-do about it and all I needed to do was do a very simple puzzle. Alright. No. I actually have to cycle through my inventory. Fuse gate key. I'll use the gate key to open the gate. I'm a genius. And I got my pistol out. Okay. I'll try the knife, just to see what happens. Oh, good call, Dragon Ace. It looks like it does work with the knife. You get actual stealth kills. Marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous. And I got the red key card. You're a genius. It's kind of scary to cycle to the inventory when you have tons of things in your inventory. But anyway, oh, I should have just stuck with the red key card because this is the red key card area, I would assume. I still have the gate key? Whoa, whoa. Screw that one up. Did you notice that, by the way? My health went into the orange status, but when I killed him, it went back up a little bit. I got that rush. Maybe I should have stuck with the gun.
I have 45 shots, I can afford to spend a few. Before I, before I use, let me just see something. What's this? I'll get to it in a second. Do you hear that sound? There. Oh, for God's sake. I don't think so. No. Let me see my damn phone, dude. There we go. Okay. Over right. Patoom. Alright, I'm slowly getting the hang of this. Alright, so what was it that I could look at? Use? Oh, Jin, who are you waiting for? Please. Who are you planning to give this to? Oh, Jin. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Wrong answer. <laughs> that sucks. But they got a key. This deal was clean, Jin. <laughs> I'm so blase about it. Ah, uh, Jin, come on, what are you doing? Like, as he's getting his ass beat. Alright. Maybe I will do the knife for this one. So, do I go back out the way I came in? Maybe it's the only way out. Oh, yikes. Yeah, this guy's gonna turn around, then I better watch out. Yeah, see? But I stole the chance. His friend might see me, though. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this guy has terrible peripheral vision. Or he only walks literally two squares on this walk. That's embarrassing. Wow, my back walk is crazy. Alright, I don't know about the other guard. I might go for the pistol for this one. I like that the bodies disappear. Like, the bodies just straight up disappear. Oh. I don't know what got his attention. To hell with it. Oh. That was a shameful display. <laughs> But I can pick up whatever this is. Machine pistol. Now it's mine. I don't know if I could fall off of paths, which is why I'm being very careful about where I walk. Look at look at this Blade Runner looking universe though. This is great. Two guards, three guards. What's the red? Like, I can't hit him from here. But I wonder, as stupid as this is. Yeah, no, I'm nowhere near. <laughs> that didn't work. I'll just die, it's fine. Oh no. Alright, so I'll have to redo those two guards, but it's not a big deal. Oh, hello there, Kristen. Welcome to the stream. 
Oh, whoops, maybe I should load my last save. Yo, this game is no joke. But I'm curious to see where it goes. Stupid hard mode ending. <laughs> when the baddie's confident swagger animation looks like a drunken stagger. Maybe that's the, the twist with every single one of these guards. We don't know. Oh my god, that video. Anyway, I'm done. I'll go ahead and do the knife for the first guy. I know that that's doable. If I'm lucky, I can get the whole thing. Let's just get out of here. And I'll swap to the gun. And hopefully not do a terrible, terrible job of it. I'll still wait for the guy to come back around so I can get a little bit closer to him. Yeah, the illustrated face textures in the models is pretty cool. It looks dated for now, but at the time that must have been freaking mind-blowing. It is so convenient that the like almost as soon as you kill an enemy, they just disappear as though they never were. Now where's this goon? Is he coming or what? He's not doing a full sweep, is he? Ah! Oh, really? I have to reload? That. Ugh. Anyway, I'll take the damn machine pistol. Which, actually. I'm gonna put it on right now. Because. Oh, maybe I can't fall off, which is good, because that was really stupid. And I don't need to be in that area yet. I do want to circle around. There. Skip? No, I can't skip this. But I'll tell you what I can do. Oh, there's four guards? Jeez. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. There's too many of them. I wonder if maybe I could just kill one guy and then instantly retreat and see who comes a knocking. This is this is tough. Can't wait to get to disc four. This game absolutely does not mess around. Okay. Boom, flawless. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save again. Whoops. I'm gonna be that guy. Like that, that was a straight up perfect. Do I really have to use the card again? Oh, get out. But that was the perfect run for this room, so let's, let's save again. Why the hell not? I'll see what's in that locker in a second, actually. I should have done that before. Save, yes. A grenade would be useful? Yeah, it would. Even the machine pistol's tricky. I guess I'm gonna have to, like, wave around the... the D-pad as I fire. Now, can I check those lockers by any chance? Nah. -uh. <laughs> nah, I love that. And no, no even... No chance for 68. Alright, bye. So let's do a quick jog. This game is seriously messing with me. Four guards, though. I'm gonna have to see if I could simply back up after the little scene plays. If it does, the chance I might actually leave and save after even that. Yeah, that might actually be viable. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna pull off...
Like, I, I could shoot that guy dead right now. Turn. Walk straight out. Yeah, it's theoretically doable. But I'm really be blasted. Alright, watch this trick. Let's see who comes to get me. <laughs> Anybody? Hello? Alright, really? Are they still facing this direction and am I gonna die? Alright, it's over. I'll just die. Although, let me see something. Yeah, I can I can wave the D-pad as I fire, so this this can work. This can work. I'll just need to give a quick burst with the machine pistol. Does the target in the middle top, is that alert status? No, I think what the target in the middle top is, is my ability to take out the enemy quickly. Because when it's red, that's when I can get that one hit KO. That was what I was using to judge whether I could pull it off with the knife. I mean, I suppose I could still do what I tried the first time, which was insta-kill the first guy, and then simply run away to the previous screen, and then see who comes after me. Just with the regular pistol? Why not? Who cares if I'm gonna run away anyway? And maybe I could get the machine pistol when I come back? Because, look, yeah, I, I know it's green, and like, oh, nobody notices, but when I get close... I said when I get close, th yeah, there, there's my insta-kill. So, I will fire, L1 to turn, R1 to run, boom, see ya. They tag me, but I'm out, right? That's it. Now I reload, I break out my machine pistol, and I hope for the best. It, like, it blows my mind that nobody actually follows. They all saw me, they fired at me. I wonder if I should save now. That's the trick. That's the trick. There's one more guy now. He might take me out. Oh my god. That was so hard. All right. Let's just hope there's no more. Pistol, pistol, pistol. No machine pistol. I think I'm just out of luck with that gun. But I might, uh, I might save immediately after this because this sucked. Especially because the guide's like, okay, pass this area and go into the storeroom. Kill the guards there. Like, oh, god damn it. So I'm going to go save now. <laughs> This game is brutal, but remember, uh, my health is stuck like this, like in the orange, but if I kill guards without being seen, then I can get a little bit of health back. I actually don't know if, like, if, I've, if I'm in critical condition, if just encountering enemies will kill me. I sure hope not, because that would make the game, like, unbeatable in certain situations. You could softlock yourself. I'm gonna use my cellular phone to save the game. Five guards. If I could have only killed that uh, that first guard stealthily with a knife, that whole room would have been trivialized. Or at the very least, three of the five guards or more <laughs> would have been trivialized. By the way, I didn't point out anything before, but look at this one screen. No, 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 no. This little, the rotating, little flipping pictures and characters. That's so cool. PS1 game? <laughs> Alright, anyway. I'm gonna go in here. Hey, look, it's that room I cleared. It's gone. I did it. Now, I'm gonna hazard the knife. If I die, I die. Whatever, I don't care. I'm through the worst of it. Go into the storeroom. Oh, this is a point past it. Oh, hello. What's this? A locker key. You know what? I'm gonna take it. 
Is that all I need? Oh no, this was the area where I killed the guy. No, we're good, we're good. And I'm gonna go back to the office anyway, because that locker key was for that locker in the room that I was just in. I can't believe the game is just like, or the guide is just like, now kill the guards. Oh, all right. Let me let me just do that. It did recommend the machine pistol, which was very useful. I just hope there aren't many more situations where I'll desperately need the machine pistol. Anyway, I'm in. Let's go to the locker. Um, locker key. New gun. And something else. You want to show me what the hell I got? Um, I Oh, I can dual wield! Uh, what else did I get? Red key card. Okay, blue key card. You could tell because it was blue. Fair enough. That's kind of sexy. The du Oh, this is going to make things way, way easier. Yeah, and now the, uh... Now the guy, it's like, yeah, be sure to use those dual wielding pistols or single ones instead of the machine pistol because you might need that, but like, yeah, <laughs> all right. Do I want to go back to the area I was? Mm hmm. You could find a slide down path next to the entrance. Does that mean like of this place or where I just was in the storage room? I'm assuming the storage room, right? In fact, I think I saw that anyway. So yeah, I won't save because there's a save in that storage room. Man, I hope I do this right. This game easily has the potential to be extremely difficult. Yeah, this is the save. Absolutely brutal difficulty. Yeah, I need one of those Russian spring-loaded or gas-powered knife guns. What I yeah, I need I need a gun that shoots knives so it's perfect stealth at all times. Um, okay, so I'll try the knife for this first attempt, but if that doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and do a wield because that's the coolest thing. So let me just set myself up here. That's freaking awesome. Huh? See ya. Hey. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. Yeah, I'm. I might even. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hazard that one more time, but then I'll just go in guns blazing, cause it's badass. Geez, so far this game has been extremely hard because you are not really supposed to get into proper combat. That zoom is so good. Alright, let me turn around actually. I think I'm good. I'm not. Now I am. Because when you change screens, nothing matters. Alright. I'll die and I'll do a wield. How does that sound? Two guards. Are there any more? There's a third. He's just waiting for me. Damn. Alright. Jeez. It, it's going to take a long time for me to advance in this game, I think. But persistence and lots of saving are key.
This is absolutely intense. Let's do a wield and go in like a total badass. I kind of am excited about trying that. Oh my god, that's freaking great. Shoom, dramatic camera angle, and. Dun -dun 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 There is a third guard, though. Who's just waiting. He's just waiting. But what he wasn't waiting for was. Duel. That does eat up my ammo super quick, though, so I'll have to be careful with that. Oh, oh, auto ammo. Yeah, I got some bullets for it. I, I, I'm assuming. What's with the blinky bullet sign? Does that mean that no, it doesn't count? But I thought I have ten shots. But there's, there's no icon for this. So, I don't freaking know. Anyway, we, we got that. What's this? I don't think so. I don't think so. So the door is not happening. Oh, wait a minute. Are you what I want? Look at that. Missing a fuse in this fuse box. Ho ho ho. Damn, alright. Accidentally took some dudes out. Works for me. Do I just go back? Yeah, okay, we're good. Now I go back, but the problem is that I've also made my own path more dangerous <laughs> for myself. So I'll actually save here. Absolutely does not mess around. Now this is going to be tricky because I have to be... Are you serious? I'll just let him take me out. I don't know why there's another guy here. Guess I'm going to stealth him when I can. Do you think I'm dying enough, by the way? If you like how often I'm dying, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is mentioned. But yeah, I'll try the knife kill and see if I can get away with that. Sorry for running. I figured no one would be there because I killed them all. I should do like a super cut of my successful attempts and this entire video is like 10 minutes long. Alright, so let's go ahead and take out the one guy. Got him. Pistol ammo. I'm gonna go back and save again because I don't know if there are more guards. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that was a perfect kill, you gotta admit. Do dudes respawn? Good question, but they'd better not. <laughs> I swear to God. I go back to the beginning helicopter area, there's just two guys there, like, son of a. But, anyway. Now we got electricity going on here, so where am I? Oh dear. Alright, so there, that, oh my god. Okay, I think I get it. Okay, not as bad as it could have been. Guess who's gonna save again? I activated something on this platform, but I'm... What's with my health? Are we doing guards? You've gotta be kidding me. 
Guess I'll die, but this time I know. That's a dick move, dude. Like, that's not okay. That's not cool at all. I wanted to save. Where is a new save point? No, you know what? We're good. I'm not going to take that guy out. I'll just go to where I need to go. But, damn, this game is trolling. Although, I theoretically could kill that guy for ammo, but is it really worth it? I guess if I killed him stealthily, it would be worth it. Anyway, let's do this again, but this time I know what to do, so I won't be as daunting. They even let me have the first step. Yeah, actually easy. Actually easy. There we go. I do recover a little bit of my, my fear health. So you know what? Alright. I spent six shots. I got six shots. That, that actually went pretty swimmingly. Okay. Yeah. I can go back here. And now I got this little elevator I should be able to use. There we go. Wire cutter. Got it. Can I go in this little... Nope. I really appreciate, by the way, that sneaking does not dramatically slow you down. Can I not even... There. No. Uh, no. Whoops. Could have used the knife, but that's alright. And I'm even recovering as a result. So that's how this game works. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Zero chances, dude. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, now we're moving. We're cruising, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to make sure... Well, I'm coming up on something that'll be... Spooky. Let me just check something. There's a puzzle that's coming up that I want to make sure I I get right, which can be kind of silly. Oh, it might not be so terrible. All right. So first of all, this is obviously a blue key card uh, lock. So there you go. Tick, talk, tick, talk, or you'll start to tick, Jim. Now, who are you waiting for? He's waiting for me. Get her! Wait, Anna! Don't leave me! Don't let this kill me! I should have had the double pistols. By the way, this was a boss moment. So I I fully healed. What the hell happened? Yeah, must have had me watched. He knows I'm tight for credit. You can turn this off, huh? The C4 is hardwired. I pull the blasting caps, you and I are misting the walls. Then don't do that. Uh, you are wrong. Glasses with me, Deke's at the hotel. This is a lot of trouble for one little runaway, Jim. It's the first time we Ming's ever been outside the Lamb's compound. She's all alone in the big bad world, ripe for the taking. Hmm, 
creepy. Three leads between each delay, probably neutral ground and hot. So, outside the triad, who knows Wee Ming's gone? No one, Hannah, except for you. Which is worth 15% of 90 million, and you're in no position to negotiate. 90 million? That's your asking price to, to guarantee her safe return? No guarantees. You know me better than that, Jin. <laughs> Looks like I'll need to cut two of three wires between each delay without interrupting the circuit. And if you cut the wrong wires? Wrong wires or wrong order, and boom. Uh, or I could just say screw the money and leave you here. I'll cut my fee. Uh, 12%. 10. 10%. Uh, Hana, please. You owe me. Not after this, I don't. <laughs> Is it, the timer, it just started. How much, how much is it? Not a lot. Oh, oh, oh. Now shut up, Jin. I gotta think. Okay, okay. Damn, Hannah's awesome. <laughs> Not a lot. Shut up. Oh, strange. The guy said I had five minutes, but I look like I have uh, six minutes. Alright, cool. Anyway, let's take a look at this. I got my wire cutters. I'm assuming I have to equip them. So I'll just talk to him. No. Uh. Let me try this again. There we go. So we have purple, orange, and green. And I have red, yellow, and blue. So is this like red and yellow make orange, yellow and blue make purple? Is, is that the whole thing? This is obnoxious though, because like the way these are connected to the other bombs, I'm not a hundred percent sure about. And especially the guy describes things differently. It says that this left button is the red one, the the middle one is purple, and the right one is green, and it's reversed for me. But the red, yellow, and blue wires are correct. Anyway, so it says for. The, uh, the, I'm a, the orange button, I'm assuming this is. This person apparently can't see the best. It says, you know, cut the yellow and the red wire, because red and yellow make orange. But, like, on both sides? That's the part that bugs me. Or maybe it's something like where red and yellow make orange and yellow and blue make green. So I cut just the red wire up top. I'm assuming, right? And then for purple, red and blue make purple, and red and yellow make orange. I don't even... This is irritating me. I don't know. No, that's off. Okay. So then for purple, red and blue, right? Right? And then for green, yellow, and blue, I'm assuming. This could come in handy. About my fee, Hannah. I was under a lot of stress, so exposed makes me nervous, eh? Give me the package, Jin. Uh, I made a flash disk with all your info on women, including a good place to start looking for her. I locked it in the control panel near the neon sign before that jerk laid into me. And the key? With the jerk. All right, I'm going for the disc. You'd better go under and go deep. Yeah, you know, for a moment, I thought I was a dead man. Jeez, uh, oh, really? <laughs> well, you got me. <laughs> that was freaking badass. Oh, and now I'm back at the beginning of the area. Oh, that's... Huh. That was my hint the whole time. I didn't realize that. But now check this out. Here's that door I couldn't get into, right? Watch this. When she said she had a use for this, she wasn't kidding. Explosive. I actually have to run during that. <laughs> they give you no warning. The camera angle changes and everything. So, yeah. I, I blew my way open. Can I go back and save at the area I was already at? I love how my boss encounter is like just a freebie, but everything else about this game is so difficult. 
I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm learning. Okay, here we go. Okay. Wait, wait, what is this? Did I not notice something? Oh yeah, one of the goons dropped the machine pistol, so I have two machine pistols. That's freaking nuts. Uh, but anyway, no time for that now. I'll stick with a pistol just for now. So let's go into the area that I just blew open with uh, an explosive that was supposed to kill a man, and the man died anyway. That was that was a legitimately clever little thing. Oh, for a moment, I thought I was a dead man. Immediately get shot. That's pretty good looking fire, too. Look at that. Around the door frame, I like. So, we'll just make sure everything goes correctly. Oh, I'm back here. I, I put the fuse in here like five seconds ago. I'm back out at this area. That means I can go back up here and save again, and I think I will. Oh. Again, pissing me off that they do that. I was gonna save and everything. I mean, I, I still can. I, I lost one bullet, and I got a little bit of courage back. So you know what? I'll, I'll take it, I guess. But now I'm coming up on, like, an actual boss fight. Like, a boss that I have to fight for real. Okay, here we go. Alright, maybe I'll just sneak around yeah see my health meters back I don't know where the goon is I really don't know where the goon is oh do you think do you think come on all right do you think Oh, that's freaking great. And suddenly I'm at full health. But I still have a health meter. Not fantastic, but acceptable. Yeah, that wasn't the way it was before. It was actually a long ladder. Yikes. Hang on one second. Huh. Oh, there it was. You saw it. I know there's a guard right here, but this is a very good save opportunity. Once I do this encounter, I think that's going to be it for the stream, but this is, this is most interesting. Okay. So I got my save. couple of guards I'll have to watch out for. Now I think I'm going to need to wait for that one guy to come back. Because he's going to see me otherwise. But if I could tag him from behind that'd be great. How the hell? Let's just see where he's positioned. Oh. If they stay there then this is a joke.
Auto ammo. Auto ammo. This is going very well. And that auto ammo is a hint that I'll be needing it for the boss. Now I can save. This is... This is perfect. Let's save. I'll do the boss encounter. This is great. Alright, hopefully this works okay. Let's jog on in. Oh, he actually got me first. I was going to try to make that a battle of attrition. <laughs> but we're close, we're close. I wonder if I could sneak around from behind and get like a first attack. That'd be great. Or maybe even a dodge roll, but that that's a proper boss. I'm curious as to what's going to happen after that. Is there a reason I'm not equipped with them? Let's do that. I almost got them though, first try. The way he marches around. Got him. Damn. I can't even reload. That cost me all my stuff. Damn, dude. And now my health is in very critical condition, so I don't know how happy I am about that. Sign key. And weirdly, the guide is telling me not to drop this, or not to pick this up. Maybe there's a different person who gets it or something, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and look at what the, the boss was looking at. He was like, what, over here or a little nearby? Yeah, here. I don't think so. I guess I used the sign key on this. So Chinese character puzzle, this is what uh, the neon signs said outside so I could go back to the first area to look and I'm not gonna be doing that so how good is your observational skill for this particular puzzle that's the, the big question how many characters are there I'm hoping I have this right I'll take a look at what what's more immediately familiar to me that looks pretty good. That looks good. No. There are a lot of characters I can choose from here. I don't think it's this. There's a chance. Also, does this automatically work, or do I have to... Oh, I do have to push the fire. All right. Oh, if so I went back, does it stay that way? Oh, it changes on me? Get the hell out of here. All right, all right. Could that even... Nah. This is going to drive me nuts, man.
Let's do that. That's a maybe. That's a definite. And that's a definite. Did I get it? Alright. Hey look, I'm a different character, and I full healed because I'm a different character. And I'm back at the beginning, I will immediately save Smackjack. Uh, 90 pistol again, times two, he just has them. Alright. Cool. Guess I'll save. This is probably a good stopping point, but this is, I gotta say, this is pretty exciting now that I've learned how to play. But you really gotta watch out for those guards. In any case, this has been the beginning of Fear Effect. Thank you very much for watching the stream, and have a wonderful night.